Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. This pallet contains 22 gallons of water for our giant water parabola. Today, I'll be showing you a simple and effective DIY Dutch-styled oven for solar pizzas and also demonstrate the volume of water that a clear bowl can hold. This nine foot tall structure is designed to support several hundred pounds and has a very thick clear vinyl tarp stretched tightly across the top. When water is poured on the top, the weight of the water causes a vinyl to sag in the center, forming a shape very close to a true parabola. This allows the clear water to act as an optical element forming a very large lens that can concentrate sunlight to a very powerful focal point. The spot concentrating the sunlight on this lens is just short of 9 feet, which makes a pretty good setup for solar cooking. Dark colored cast iron cookware rapidly absorbs concentrated sunlight, and the heavy mass of the metal stores the heat. This is how you make an instant mini Dutch oven perfect for pizzas. Clean the bottom of a 12 inch cast iron pan, place it in the focal point, and allow it to store heat. After 2 minutes, place a smaller pan in the focal point and allow that to heat up for a few minutes. Once the pan's nice and hot, add your pizza dough. Concentrated sunlight should never directly expose the food or it will instantly burn. Once the bottom of the dough is browned from the stored heat in the smaller pan, place the dough on the larger pan and quickly cover with the smaller pan. Because the smaller pan on top reaches a surface temperature of almost 700 degrees Fahrenheit, the internal air temperature is perfect as an oven. After two minutes, the pizza crust is ready. Add some sauce, cheese, mushrooms, or whatever you want, then place it back in the oven. While our pizza is cooking, I want to demonstrate liquid mass using a clear polycarbonate dome. How much water do you think it would take to fill this dish? Five gallons does half the job, but an additional five gallons is required to fill it almost all the way to the top. Because I'm working near a vehicle, a little additional precaution is a good idea. Using the power of our forklift to raise the 83 pound lens, the focal point is very good and almost 5 feet long. The one issue with aqua lenses is wind. Anytime the surface of the water is disrupted, the focal point weakens significantly, but it's still very impressive. A flat Fresnel lens or a solid parabolic mirror is a much better option, but using water to create fire is a lot of fun. My small pizza should be just about ready and it looks pretty good. One tip with pizzas, the easiest way to cut it is to use a pair of scissors. I'm your host Dan Rojas, thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Mm -hmm.